Another high-profile assassination has left moderates in Pakistan reeling. The victim this time was the only Christian minister in the federal cabinet, gunned down outside his mother's driveway in an attack that left his relatives howling with grief. <laughs> Armed men had peppered a car carrying Shabazz Bhatti with bullets. A spokesman said Bhatti was dead by the time he arrived at Shifa Hospital, though police added that his driver escaped unharmed. Pamphlets found at the scene of the killing warn the same fate awaits anyone opposing the country's blasphemy laws, which impose the death penalty for insulting Islam. The leaflets were signed by al-Qaeda and the Pakistani Taliban movement in Punjab province. Bhatti, a 42-year-old Roman Catholic seen here at a news conference in 2009, had been the most prominent advocate for Christians in Pakistan, a tiny minority in a country where the overwhelming percentage of the population of 180 million is Muslim. His killing was immediately condemned by international religious figures, including top Anglicans. At the Vatican, a papal spokesman urged Christians be protected from persecution. Back in Islamabad, local priest Anwar Patras was visibly upset. Justice is done to our community, whole community. Outside the hospital, Christians and members of the government's ruling party were chanting slogans against terrorism and against the police. Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Ghilani had rushed there to pay condolences to Bati's relatives. A statement from his office said he ordered the killers be brought to justice for what he called a heinous crime. But he made no mention of the blasphemy laws. Ghilani and many others considered political moderates have avoided calls for reform and a sign of how they fear Islamist street power in Pakistan. Bati's killing has left Christians there more fearful than ever. One Islamabad resident had been wailing they feel orphaned, having lost a champion who fought for their rights. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.